since Avatar The Last Airbender is not only having their actress work with somebody who can't see instead of just casting somebody who is visually impaired, they are also deleting any posts they made about the open casting call they did looking for somebody who is visually impaired because apparently they don't think that anyone can remember anything they posted in June. You know what? You're gonna play stupid games. You're gonna win stupid prizes. I'm gonna compare you to the Percy Jackson TV show when they did an open casting call to show that this was never serious, that this is something they did when they found the other actress just to cover their ass and act like they are trying to find somebody who is visually impaired when they clearly never had the attention to do that. So the Percy Jackson open casting calls were posted April 27, 2021. Walker Scobell is announced as casted as Percy Jackson when? April 11th of 2022, almost an entire calendar year later. Cast has said in interviews that it took them nine months before they even heard back for a callback when they sent in their tapes and everything for tryouts because they were actually taking it seriously. That's how long an open casting call should take if you actually care about the quality of the thing that you're making. On this fan account, since all the official accounts have deleted their tweets, that show that Avatar Less Airbender posted this on June 11th of this year, that they are doing an open casting call for TOF. They announced on September 19th that they have started official production and filming for season two. You really want me to believe that you guys were out here doing an open casting call when you were about to start filming in three months for the most important character of all of season two? And this of course has nothing to do with Mia. She has just been cast in this role. This is to do with the people who are in charge of the show who put her in this position in the first place. It is not that hard for a production of this size to actually accommodate disabled actresses, especially when the character is very much disabled, you know. Kind of like her being in season one of Percy Jackson in multiple scenes and nobody cares that she's in a wheelchair. It's kind of like that.